Hello everyone. Let's start standing today. Stepping to the front of the mat. <coughs> Feet separated hip width apart, toes pointing forward. Hands on hip. Inhale, take a deep breath in, lengthen spine. Chin parallel to floor. Exhale, knees softly bent. Bring the belly close to the thigh. Let's hold on to our opposite elbows and let go of the upper body. Let the head hang loose. Start relaxing your shoulders, elbows. Moving awareness to breath. For the next few seconds, deepening our inhales and exhales. Completely relaxing the upper body. Inhale, take a deep breath in and exhale out very slowly. Eyes open, we will bring the fingertips in front of our feet. Both knees nicely bent and pressing the feet nice and firm. Let's work on straightening the right leg up. So, right, tighten right thigh, lengthen spine, keeping the left knee bent, inhale, right arm reaching up, lift the chest up, looking up. Keep tightening your right thigh, you stay for 5 deep breaths in and out. Every time you inhale, stretch your spine up. Exhale, draw the belly in, straighten the right leg. We stay there for five. Lift the right shoulder up. Four. Three. Two. Inhale, stretch the right arm, lift chest up. Exhale, right fingertips down. Let's bend the right knee. Catch your breath. You can stretch the spine up, look forward. Work on straightening the left leg out, tighten the left thigh. Draw the belly in, lengthen spine. The next inhale, lifting the left arm. Slowly turning the gaze up. Five deep breaths in and Nice and strong left leg. We'll stay here for five. Draw the belly in, lift chest up. Four. Three. Two. Inhale, open chest up. Exhale, releasing the left hand down. Let's press both palms down, stepping the feet back to plank. So, feet separated, hip width apart. Shoulder on top of the wrist. Fingers are spread wide. Moving the shoulders nice and away from my ears. Let's look forward. Tighten both thighs, draw the belly in. We'll stay here for five. And push yourself away from the mat. Four. Three, deep breaths out. Two. Inhale, take a deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Moving the hip back and trying to form an inverted V with our body. Keeping both knees softly bent. Let's stretch the spine up. Bringing the belly nice and close to the thigh. And slowly work on straightening the right leg alone. We we'll press the right foot firmly. And if the knee has straightened, and the heel is pressing down, lifting the right toes off. Stretch the calf muscles also. We'll stay here for five. Exhale, belly to thigh. Four. Three. Straighten the right knee, lift hip up. Two. And one exhale, let's bend the right knee, straightening the left leg. So try your best to press the entire foot down. Once the heel touches down, lifting the left toes off the floor. Keep tightening the left thigh and keep moving the belly close to the thighs. We we'll stay here for five. Deep breaths out. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, let's bend both knees and stepping both the feet forward. Feet together. Inhale, lift chest up. Arch low back, Ardha Uttana. 
exhale forehead to knee fold forward stretch your arms to the sides inhale coming up lengthen spine look up palms together exhale hands by the side samasthiti inhale stretch both arms up exhale straight spine fold forward knees can be bent inhale chest up ardha uttana exhale stepping back to plank keeping the feet separated feet to the apart let's drop both our feet heels towards the right side so coming on to the outer edge of the feet both palms are up lift the hip up and slowly try to point your chest down towards the mat so you're twisting your upper body to stay there for five so hip is moving towards the right side chest wanting to face up four three Keep lifting the hip up. Two and one. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, dropping the heels towards the left side. Keep the hip lifted and slowly turning the chest up so that it's facing towards the mat. We stay there for five, four. Straighten both knees up. Three. Two and one. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keeping the feet separated, hip width apart. Lengthen spine. Lift. Let's lift the right leg up towards the ceiling, pointing the toes up. So draw the belly in, moving awareness to your inner thighs. Slowly turning your hip so that it's facing down towards the floor. Inner thighs come nice and close. Next five. Exhale to lift the right thigh. without bending the right knee so keep stretching the right leg and lifting the right thigh up we we'll stay there for five inhale lifting up four three two stretch the right leg up inhale the exhale right foot down catch your breath we we'll move on to the other side So draw the belly in and slowly lifting the left leg up, toes pointed up. So active left leg. Work on straightening the knee up. Let's bring the inner thighs nice and close and work on lifting the left thigh. We say that for five. Every time we inhale, left thigh lifting up. Four. Three. Stretch the left leg up. Two and one. Exhale, left foot down. Let's bend both knees, stepping both the feet forward, feet together. Inhale, arch back, lift chest up, arda uttana. Exhale, forehead to knee. Inhale, coming up, udho hasta, look up. Exhale, samasthiti. Let's keep the feet together and hands on. Squatting down to Uttarasana. Let's sit back on to the heels. So keep pressing your knees nice and close. If you have any lower back pain, round your back. Otherwise, we'll arch our back. Keep the chest lifted. Taking both hands behind the back, interlace fingers. Exhale out fully. Draw the belly in. Inhale, lift the rib cage. Bring the shoulder blades closer and stretch your arms. Staying here for the next five to six breaths. Keep sitting back on your heels, keeping the chest lift. Let's sink the hip one more step down. Stay here for three. Lengthen spine. Two. Exhale out fully. Inhale, take a deep breath in. Stretch your arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Any discomfort in the lower back? Keep the knees bent. Otherwise, slowly work on straightening your legs up by tightening both thighs. Once you feel this is the max, you can straighten the knees. Work on moving your interlaced palm over your head. Let's bring the chin to chest. Six deep breaths. Up. Complete awareness with the shoulders now. Every time I exhale, try to bring your interlaced palm over your head. Let's stay there for three. Two and 
one exhale, bringing both the palms down. Stepping the feet back to plank. Feet separated, feet put apart. Let's draw both the heels toward the right side. This time lifting the left arm. So press the outer edge of your feet. Straight knees, lift, rip up. And only if you're comfortable, turn your heels up. Breathe. Five. Four. Keep lifting your hip up. Open chest. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, side plank on the other side. Keeping both feet down. So press the outer edge of your feet. Lift hip up. Right arm reaching up. Let's look up for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale back. Downward facing down. Slowly work on straightening both your legs up. Let's join the feet together. Inhale lifting the right leg up. Let's bend the right knee, opening the hip towards the right side. So right knee pointing up towards the ceiling. And your right heel moving towards your left foot. Choice to either look through your right armpit. Or you can look down, keeping the chest facing down towards the floor. Five deep breaths up. And every time you exhale, try to lift the right knee. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one exhale. Let's bring the right knee behind the right palm. Settling down in pigeon. So we'll walk the left knee back. Pointing the left toes up. Start pressing both thighs down. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, stretch both your arms up. Forehead down. So avoid leaning too much towards any one side. So keeping your hip in centre. If stretching both arms is uncomfortable, you can choose to be on your forearms, keeping the eyes closed. Moving awareness to breath. Next few exhales, completely let go of your body. Exhale out fully. Let's walk our palms back. Moving the right heel close to the hip. Left leg is stretched out. Let's walk both our hands back. Lift chest up. Left palm on your right knee. Take it slow. See if you can hold on to your left thigh with your right hand. Twisting your upper body. Nice and strong legs. Deep exhales to work with your twist. Looking over your right shoulder. For five. Four. Step back, downward facing down. Let the knees be bent. Stretch the spine up. And slowly join your feet together. Exhale out fully. Inhale, left leg lifting up. Exhale, bending the left knee. Knee pointing up towards the ceiling. And left heel moving towards the right upper. Breathe, five. With every exhale, left knee lifting up. Four, three, two, and one. Exhale, let's bring the left knee behind the left palm. Walking the right knee back. Pointing the right toes up. Let's start pressing both thighs down. Keeping the spine straight. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, stretch both your arms up, forehead down. Start 
are relaxing your entire body. Awareness with our breathing. Exhale out fully, walking our palms back. We'll bring the left heel closer to the hip. Walk the hands back, lengthen spine. Right hand onto your left knee. Belly in chest up. Left hand holding onto your right. Let's look over our right shoulder. Sorry, left shoulder. We'll stay there for five. Chest is lifted. Deep exhales to work with your twist. Four. Three. Inhale, lift chest up. Exhale, palms down. Stepping back, downward facing down. Joining the feet together. Let's bend both knees. Stepping both the feet forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttana, chest up. Exhale, forehead to knee. Inhale, coming up, Urdha Hasta. Looking up. Exhale, hands by the side, samasthi. Hands on hip. We separate the feet slightly wider than hip width apart. Toes pointing forward. Then bend both knees, bringing the chest halfway down. Exhale out fully. Let's bring the right shoulder inside the right knee. Wrapping the right hand around the right thigh. Take your time. For this, you'll have to squat down a little bit more. Lift chest up. Wrap your left hand around your body. See if you can hold on to your right fingertips. If your body is fairly open, you can hold on to the left wrist with your right palm. Any grip that you have, roll the left shoulder back. Chest is lifted. Inhale here. Exhale. Slowly work on straightening both your legs up. Without dropping your chest. Breathe. Five. Four. Keep extending your spine. Three. Roll the left shoulder back. Two. And one. Exhale, bringing both your hands down. Catch your breath. Let's move on to the other side. Bending both knees. We'll bring the left shoulder inside the left knee. And wrapping the left hand around the thigh. Lift chest up, right hand around your body. Either holding on to your fingertips or the wrist. Lengthen spine, lift the chest up. And slowly work on straightening both your legs up. Choice to look over your right shoulder. Five deep breaths up. With every exhale, try to straighten your knees. Five. Four. Roll the right shoulder up. Three. And one, exhale, bringing both your hands down, stepping back to plank. Take your time. So this shoulder is in one line. We we'll separate the palm slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Fingers are spread wide, gripping the mat with the tips of your fingers. Keeping the hip lifted. Let's point our feet out so that you are pressing the top of the feet nice and firm. Stretch both your legs out till your hip joint. Inhale here. Exhale, bringing your legs just off the floor as the chest starts moving forward, upward facing down. Strengthen both your legs, knees and thighs off the floor, a ribcage moving forward. Breathe five, keeping the chest lifted up, sinking your hip lower. Four, three, two, 
two more deep breaths in stretch your legs up exhale child's pose we separate the knees mat with apart stretch both your arms out forehead up Exhale out fully. Let's come down to seated. Stretching both the legs in front of us. Let's bend the right knee and bringing the right foot outside the hip. So take your time. If this is uncomfortable, then feel free to bring the foot closer towards the groin. We'll bend the left knee. So both sit bones are down, holding on to the left foot. First step: draw the belly in, keep the chest lifted, straight spine. Exhale out here and slowly work on straightening the left leg out, pointing the toes up. So toes pointed out till the knee straightens out. Once the knee has straightened out, hold on to the grip, extend your spine, lift chest up, and see if you can grab hold of your left heel, left heel with both your hands, interlacing fingers. Choice to stay here. If you want to deepen it, point the left foot towards your face. Inhale chest up. And exhale slowly. Work on bending your elbows and bringing the left thigh nice and close towards the upper body. So you're moving the leg towards the chest and not the chest towards your leg. Breathe five. Keep tightening your left thigh. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale. Let's bend the left knee, bringing the left leg in half lotus, Ardha Padmasana. Right hand onto your left knee, lengthen spine, wrap the left hand around your body, see if you can grab hold of your left foot. If that's not happening, left fingertips behind you, inhale lift chest up, exhale slowly work on rolling your left shoulder out, stretching your leg, looking back for the next 5 deep breaths up. Keep pressing your hips down. Tall spine and deep exhales to work with your fist. Retaining the twist, we'll turn only the head so that we are looking over the right shoulder. Staying here for three, two, and one. Exhale, release. Right leg remains in the same position. We we'll stretch the left leg out. So take your time. If you feel like straightening the right leg and getting back into the position, do that. We will separate the knees nice and wide till it's comfortable for you. So don't separate it where you start feeling the pain in the side of the right knee. Okay. Pointing the left foot towards us. Lengthen spine. Inhale here. Exhale. Bringing the belly a little closer towards the floor. Stretching both the arms up. Choice to stay here. If you want to deepen, Tighten the left thigh and slowly work on bringing your elbows down. Every time you exhale, belly comes close to the thigh. Inhalation, you can choose to walk your hand one more step forward. Eyes closed, staying here for the next 30 seconds. Exhale out fully. Let's walk our hands back. Let's remain in the same position. Again, take your time to straighten the right leg and getting the leg back into the same position. Let's bring the left elbow either on top of the left knee or outside, sorry, inside. Okay. Holding on to the left foot with our left hand. Open chest up. Exhale out here. Inhale, right arm reaching over your head. If bringing the left elbow is uncomfortable, Hold on to the left big toe with the first three fingers. Extend spine and start leaning towards your left side. 
So we are able to hold on to the left foot with both your hands. Use that grip and start opening the chest up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing your hips down. We'll stay there for five. Four. Exhale, twist a bit more. Three. Two. And one. Exhale out fully. Let's walk our hands back. Stretching both the legs up. Let's keep the knees bent for some time. Wrap your hands around your thighs. Forehead down. Let's move on to the other side. Stretch both legs up. We'll bend the left knee, bringing the left foot outside the hip. Let's hold on to the right foot with both our hands. Press your sit bones down, lengthen spine. Exhale here, inhale, start straightening your right leg up. First toes pointed out. Once the knee has straightened, point the foot towards you, holding on to the heel. Only if you're comfortable here, you lengthen spine, start bending the elbow to bring the right leg nice and close towards the upper body. Keep tightening your right thigh. We'll stay here for five. Deep breaths out. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale up. Let's bring the right leg in half lotus. Sitting up straight. Left palm onto the right knee. Right hand either behind you or holding onto the right foot. Press the hips down. Inhale, lift chest up. Exhale, start rolling your right shoulder back, looking back. Five deep breaths out here. Every time you exhale, twist a bit more. Retaining the twist, lengthen spine, turning only the head towards the left shoulder. We'll stay here for three, two, and one. Come down. Let's stretch the right leg to the side, separating the knees nice and wide till it's comfortable for you. Hands on hip, inhale, stretch spine up, right foot pointing towards you, and exhale, start folding forward. Stretch both your arms up, head down. Staying here for the next 30 seconds. Exhale out fully. Let's walk our hands back. Preparing for a twist. Keep holding on either to your right mid toe with the first three fingers. And you can choose to keep the right knee bent if you are not able to hold on. If you are able to hold on to the big toe, see if you can hold on to the inner sole of the right foot. Where your palm is facing up. Let's bring the elbow either on top of the right knee or inside the right knee. Open chest up. Exhale or press your hips up. Inhale. Start setting the left arm over your head. It's as though you want to hold on to your right foot with both your hands without closing the chest. If you have the grip, start deepening your twist with every excess. You are trying to turn your chest up towards the ceiling. Stay here for five. Four. Three. Two. And one, exhale up. Let's stretch both legs in front of us. Knees bent. Wrap your hands around your thighs. Forehead down.
Let's slide down onto the mat. Preparing for double leg races. So hands by the side. If you have excessive arching of your low back, either try to keep the entire low back down, where you will have to engage the tummy nice and tight. If that's not happening, you can support your low back with both your palms, so that the spine is not taking the strain of lifting the legs up. I'm keeping my hands by this side. Let's press the low back down. Feet together, toes pointed up. Exhale out fully. Inhale, lifting both your legs up. Press the low back down. Exhale, bringing your feet just off the floor. Inhale, lift up. Shoulders and lower back down. Exhale down, just stop the flow. Two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Trying your best to keep the knees straight. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale, exhale 6, inhale, exhale 7, inhale, exhale 8, inhale, exhale 9, inhale, exhale 10, last 2, inhale, Exhale, 11. Inhale. Press the low back down. Draw the belly. Exhale, coming halfway down. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, lifting your shoulders up. Stretching your arms forward. Keep drawing the belly in. You stay there for 5. Lift shoulders up. 4. Crunch your belly, lift up. 3. 2. And 1. Exhale, knees bent. Feet on mat. Eyes closed. Palms on your belly. Let's breathe. Preparing for shoulder snap. If you're menstruating, skip shoulder snap. And you can lie down in butterfly. Otherwise, Lifting hip up along with me. Bend both knees. Rock back. Lift hip up. Support your lower back with both your palms. Slowly stretch your legs up. And take time to walk your elbows nice and close to each other. For the first few seconds, keep the belly slightly in. As you're lifting the hip up, try to straighten your legs up. Once you're stable, let go of any tightness in your belly. Let the belly expand nicely as you're inhaling. And let it contract as you exhale. Gazing either at your big toes. If you are comfortable, closing your eyes. But awareness with the movement of a belly for the next one minute. Slow, long breaths in and out. Preparing to get into bridge pose from shoulder stand. If that sounds already scary, please come down slowly and getting into bridge pose. Otherwise, let's bend both knees, bringing the knees closer towards our forehead. Adjust your hands so that both your palms are supporting your lower back. 
Now slowly start lifting the knees up. Feet is pointing down. Let's bring the left foot down towards the floor. And slowly let the right foot follow the left. Till you settle down in bridge. Both hands are still supporting your lower back. But minimal weight on your wrist. So keep lifting the thighs up. Chest to chin. Breathe. Five. Nice and strong legs. Four. Three. Lift the hip up. Two. And one. Exhale. Slowly bringing your hip down. Next hug. Both knees close to chest. Eyes closed. Slowly rocking from side to side. Massaging a lower back. Once your spine feels alright, stretching your legs and arms out to Shabas. So take your time separating the feet, mat width apart, toes pointing to the side. Hands slightly away from your body, palms facing up. Tucking the chin towards the chest. Shoulders nice and away from your ears. Take a long breath in and holding the breath in. Exhale through your mouth. Mouth closed. Inhale deep breath in. Hold. Exhale through mouth. Inhale. Resume to normal breathing. And slowly start observing your still body on the mat. And the only movement that we can feel is of the belly. Keep watching the belly. Exhale out fully. Belly moving down. Inhale. Belly expands without any pause. For 3, 2, 1. Exhale. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale. Belly expands. 3, 2, 1. Exhale. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Two, one. Inhale three, two, one. Exhale six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale three, two, one. Exhale six, five, four, three, two, one. Continuing the practice. Complete stillness in the body. Awareness with the count of 3 and 6 for inhale and exhale. Shavas.
awareness of the body and breath. Keeping the eyes closed. Start moving your toes, fingers. Head from side to side. Stretch your arms and legs out as you inhale. Exhale, bend both knees, roll to any one side. Slowly coming up to seated, keeping the eyes closed. Simple cross leg, straight spine, palms in front of chest. Take a long breath in. Hold it for a second. And exhale out very slowly. Rub palms together. Place the eyes. Slowly blink open into your palms. Thank you everyone for practicing with me today. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.